Yeah, hi, this is uh, Dr. Sunil Patel, Chair of Neurosurgery at the Medical University of South Carolina. We we're very excited to have recently published results of comparing the use of the microscope versus the synaptive modus V uh, exoscope in surgery. We recently reviewed the 249 cases of exoscope-assisted cases in spine surgery and found really superior results in terms of le uh, length of surgery, blood loss outcomes, and uh, length of stay in, in, uh, in the hospital after the surgery. So uh, these are very promising results with the use of the exoscope. Uh, my sense is that the exoscope is providing, having personally used this uh, equipment, is providing better lighting, good 3D imagery, ease of use of the equipment, uh, and also in a, in a training program like ours, it's been very useful training tool for the residents and trainees to get a much better view of what we're doing. It also helps the assistants and the scrub techs to have a better visualization of what's going on. Uh, so the mechanics of the exoscope is really good. In fact, we've been using the exoscope now for over two years and we've used it both for cranial cases, pineal surgery, uh, brain tumors, aneurysms, as well as spine surgery, <clears throat> micro uh, approaches, and uh, we found that the incisions are much smaller, and we're able to achieve a lot better for these patients using this uh, technology. I think this technology is going to continue to improve. It's got a robotic uh, uh, apparatus attached with it, um, and uh, the, the company is doing a much better job of responding to the needs of the surgeon. So. I'm looking for the next few years as uh, exoscopes in, in neurosurgery and even other fields where microscopes are used, I think adaptation of this technology will be better uh, to improve outcomes and ease of surgery for a lot of subspecialties that use uh, magnification and lighting.